G'day, Gun Hudson here, and today I'll be reviewing 90 Days of Happy by Growth Locker, which is a daily um, journal for increasing happiness as well as doing general um, daily exercises to keep you aligned with your goals, your values, and things like appreciation, gratitude, and all of the exercises that have been scientifically proven to increase your happiness. Uh, just like going to the gym and working out on your muscles, it turns out you can actually work out on your brain and your happiness. And just like going to the gym over uh, a long period of time, you will grow your muscles. The same thing as you can grow your happiness, which is a really incredible thing to think about because everybody would agree that they want to be happy in life. And so if you knew that you could do exercises every day and, and literally increase the amount of happiness that you're able to achieve on any given average day, um, then yeah, it's a it's like a no-brainer for me to pursue these kinds of things. So my initial um, reactions was I was looking for a daily journal and I will preface this video with I'm very success-minded. I'm, I'm actually an entrepreneur. Um, I, I care about making progress in my business a lot. I, I hit the gym regularly. I, uh, these kind of things are really important to me. And so I had a little bit of hesitation in choosing a daily journal that was kind of like too hippie. Um, I wanted to make sure I was aligning my mind with where I wanted to be in my, in, in my entrepreneurial journey and with my uh, things that I'm aiming for. So I'm trying to shoot really big. And so that kind of, I felt that that required like a certain type of journal, right? Um, but I'm actually really pleasantly surprised that while this um, this does feature all of the types of happiness and gratitude exercises that you would expect to be kind of you know more hippie or um, like more woo woo, let's say. It has a very no bullshit approach and scientifically based. Uh, exercises and I really appreciate for calling out that like um, that part of the whole scene and I really appreciate that it's it's here to get results it's not it's not here to feel good about yourself although obviously that's the intended effect of, of being happy right it's but it's not just like a a book to to post on Instagram about and, and hold hands you know like it's it's, it's actually uh, outcome based, which is which I really appreciate. So what I also liked, um, this is my first day reading through it. And so I haven't gone through the 90 days yet myself. Um, it is basically the first chapter goes through how to uh, do the book and all the exercises each day. And so that took me like about an hour or so this morning to read through. Um, there's also some video exercises on the website, uh, which are free. I haven't had a chance to go through them all yet, um, but it describes what they all are and I will definitely be doing that. Um, in particular, there's one video about a 75 year study on what contributes to uh, happiness in life, which is insane. Like I didn't know that kind of effort had been put into this topic uh, by scientific people. And so uh, that was actually a TED talk. I think it's gone pretty viral on, on YouTube. So if you haven't seen that, do check it out. Um, I'm gonna put that right into this video. It's at, uh, okay, I found it. It's at growthblogger.com forward slash relationships. Uh, turns out your quality relationships with people are a pretty key um, contributor towards your life happiness. And that's not just your partner, but you know, friends, uh, family, all these kinds of things. So yeah, definitely check that out after this review. Um, and I think that might give you a feel of what the, the journal's um, about and, and kind of the, the overall um, goal of the journal, let's say. And um, something else that I really appreciated about the format of it was that it has, because a lot of these journals, they kind of like, they decide on the way that, that you're going to like journal every day. And you either get a blank book and it's like, you have to fill the whole thing out yourself or you get this structured journal that is, um, you know, like, like in particular to whoever, whatever the author likes to do that day. But there's a little bit of flexibility in this one, which I really like. Um, it has, 
Uh, it actually has a section with some blank daily checkboxes. So you can kind of put in um, whatever habit you're trying to build. Um, so I really like that. And then it also has a section for your one thing, which uh, is another book that has radically changed my life. Um, figuring out the one thing to do each day and feeling um, that I get progress each day that I get that done. It's made me able to uh, guilt-free enjoy my life when I because when I feel like, I used to feel like that I was needed to be working on my business like every minute of every day. Um, but now I know that if I get my one thing done, then I can, I, can, I can enjoy the rest of my day or the rest of my week if I've got my one thing for the week done. And so I really love that that is in this uh, journal because that's very like, uh, kind of like success minded stuff, uh, as well as the, the important things for your and there's, there's some parts for your goals, your affirmations. Um, who do you, it, it guides you through writing down your affirmations in as if you're already there, which is definitely the way to do it. And something I really like is the old story and the new story. And so that's writing down something of what your old story used to be, which was like, I used to, in this scenario, I think this case, um, but then, trying to uh, rethink about how you see that situation and create a new story in your head. So an example might be you might go to a, I'll steal the one out of the book I'm on the fly here. I think the example in the book was you go to a party or someone doesn't invite you to a party. So your old story might be, oh, that person doesn't like me because that's the story that you've got in your head and you're looking for ways um, to reaffirm that story like you're seeing like yeah see she did this see she did that like she doesn't like me because of this but then if you write a new story and you think okay well maybe um, maybe they were just like forgot or maybe it was like a private party or they didn't want to invite people from work or you know and then you can create a new story and you can look for ways where you reaffirm that new story and that's something that I think uh, I really want to take on. That I'd heard of this concept before, but I hadn't actually conditioned myself to practice this every day. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited to, I was, to be honest, I was kind of just dabbling in this journal just to see like what it was about and if it was going to be something that I liked, but I'm really impressed. I'm really excited to jump into this for 90 days, uh, both morning and evening, which I've been meaning to do for several years. I've, I've gotten a morning habit going pretty well, but the evening habit has not really happened for myself. So, um, yeah, having this laid out in this book every day with like a page, just is gonna feel really nice. Um, just like one page. I'll give you a close up of what the pages look like. We got the morning, then we got the evening, and yeah, there's basically that every day of the of the year, and then there is a section uh, end of the week for the weekly reviews, and I believe there's one for the monthly reviews, and on the monthly ones they have blank pages so that you can um, put in your own stuff if you have your own system that you're using. So I really appreciate that the author has um, left enough room for that to like make it your own, but it has enough uh, enough of like a format and structure to get you going. Just a comment on that: the the book really does focus on action and not doing everything perfectly, because it's super easy to get into this world and be like, oh, I'm meant to be doing this, I'm meant to be doing this, and then just get super overwhelmed with all this shit that you're meant to do. And uh, the book really stresses about, look, just, just do something. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. Uh, they don't care if you do whatever type of meditation, like as long as you just do one minute at least of thinking about your thoughts, because that's better than nothing. And so that focus on the book is, is awesome. I highly recommend it. Uh, I'm definitely gonna purchase a few of these for my family and friends. Uh, I'm part of a men's group where we try to better ourselves in many areas of life. I'll probably recommend it to a few people in there too. And really stoked. I'm gonna give you an update at the end of these 90 days and I'll uh, 
give, okay, out of 10 right now, I feel like I'm um, seven. So I'll see what I'm like in general uh, in 90 days from now. Cheers, check it out, Growth Locker. It's on Amazon or um, growthlocker.com. Hope, hope you like it. Thank you. Just finished my work, and something I really liked about the uh, the 90 Days of Happiness journal was that it only took about five minutes to fill out the morning the morning exercises. So I didn't like waste half of my morning filling out a journal, which is something you know you don't want to like delay getting stuck into your work each morning or delay your day with this really long exercise. So I really like that. So yeah, it only took about five minutes to fill out the morning sheet. So there's like no barrier to actually doing that. And uh, it looks like the evening one is similarly about five minutes or so. So yeah, check it out. If you do get the book and you are going through the exercises, uh, tag me on Instagram, at Gun Hudson.